hello guys welcome back to electrical infinity in this video i am going to explain you about this panel which is basically a main lt switch gear distribution panel it has a changeover switch for switching between eb and dg uh, and it also has a abfc panel for power factor improvement Let's quickly do the overview of it. Here you can see this one is a main MCCB for transformer and on the right side you can see this one is a main MCCB for generator DG. Right At the center there is an changeover switch of 250 ampere for switching between EB and DG and at the side of that you have voltmeter, ammeter and energy meter for EB and DG. And after that you have an APFC panel for power factor improvement and cable chambers for incoming and load outgoing. Here you can see the hole at the bottom of the panel from this hole the cable from transformer is taken underground cable and is connected to this bus bar which is connected to phase in of the 250 ampere MCCB. Right, so phase in is connected to 250 ampere MCCB and phase out is taken out and is connected to changeover switch which is of 250 ampere. As you can see here the bus bars from the MCCBs are connected to changeover switch. Similarly here you can see an hole for in coming off DG cable and it is connected to phase in of another 250 ampere MCCB and phase out from this is taken out and is connected to changeover switch. So here you can see incoming DG 250 ampere 4 pole MCCB phase in is connected and phase out is taken out and is connected to changeover. The front bus bar here you can see are of transformer and the bus bar at the back side are of DG. CT is connected to bus bars for ammeter connection as well as energy meter connection. Here you can see this one is a 250 ampere changeover switch. You can operate it manually or automatically. You can operate it manually with the help of this handle. Let's operate it with the help of this handle. So you have to enter this handle in this hole. And if you have to operate this panel on transformer, turn it at the left side. So here you can see. And if you want to switch off this panel, you have to keep it at the center. And if you want to operate it on DG, keep it on the extreme right. As you can see here, I have kept the handle at the center. So you can see here, in this hole off is written. It means the panel is off and there will be no supply passed through this panel. And this one is unlocked. If you switch it on, you cannot insert the handle into this and you cannot operate the changeover manually for safety purpose. So as you can see here, the bus bar from changeover goes to bus bar chamber and from bus bar chamber it goes to APFC panel for power factor improvement here you can see a main MCCB of the APFC panel coming from the bus bar chamber as you can see here from main MCCB it is connected to circuit breakers of each capacitor so here you can see five circuit breakers for five variable capacitor and one circuit breaker which is MCCB for fixed capacitor we are using 5 variable capacitor and 1 fixed capacitor in this APFC panel for power factor improvement. After circuit breakers, CDCs are connected. For variable capacitors, we have to use CDC. For fixed capacitor, we don't have to use CDCs. Right? As you can see here, I, I am using 5 CDCs here. So this is the overview of the panel. So as you can see here, I have used 5 variable capacitor 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And on the right side you can see this one is an fixed capacitor and it is connected directly to circuit breaker. We don't have to use CDC for it. This one is an APFC relay for auto operation of capacitor and below that you have indicator of the capacitor and below that you have auto manual selector switch of the capacitor. You can operate the capacitor using auto mode or through manual mode. So the power from the changeover switch goes to bus bar chamber. Here you can see this one is a changeover switch. From transformer to changeover, changeover to bus bar, and from bus bar chamber to APFC panel. And after power factor improvement from this APFC panel, the power is fed back to circuit breakers. These circuit breakers are load circuit breakers, as you can see here. So, from which the load is fed to the output. So, here you can see we are using uh, circuit breakers of 63 ampere and 32 ampere. So, we are using 6. 63 ampere MCB and 232 ampere MCB. So here you can see we are using 6 63 ampere circuit breakers and the terminal blocks for this are here. The black terminal here you can see 
and the load of 63 ampere circuit breakers are connected here. Here you can see we are using a 4 wire terminal block R, Y, B phase and a neutral. Also we are using 232 ampere circuit breakers and we are using terminal block for the and these are also a 4 wire terminal block R, Y, B and N. And these are also load circuit breakers and we are using terminal block for this one also and we are using wires here not bus bars as the load is not much. The whole panel runs either on transformer power or on DG power. Here you can see this one is an also cable chamber for load output and you can see here the terminal blocks for connecting of load output. On the extreme right here you can see we are using bus bars not wires for load distribution. So we are using this because the load here is more than that we have used earlier. So you can see here the bus bar chamber from bus bar chamber we are taking one more bus bar chamber at the extreme right side of the panel and we are connecting MCCB here for load distribution. So here you can see we are using a 200 ampere 4 pole MCCB. So from bus bar chamber it is connected to a 4 pole MCCB which is of 100 ampere this one is of 100 ampere and as you can see here we are taking a phase in of the MCCB and the phase out is connected to the load phase in and phase out and similarly we are using more MCCBs here as you can see here this one is a meter panel section of the transformer and you can see these are the phase indicators of the transformer this one is a voltmeter and below that you can see it has and voltmeter selector switch and this one is an ammeter and below that you have ammeter selector switch this one is an voltmeter selector switch as you can see here and this one is an ammeter selector switch this one is an energy meter which is used to measure power factor kilowatt kva and many more things so i am going to explain you the wiring of this one also and you also have a same setup of meters above 250 ampere mccb of the dg here you can see here we are using single phase from eb and dg and are connected to 6 ampere circuit breakers here you can see there are two 6 ampere circuit breakers eb and dg wires are connected to it and from here the wires are connected to on delay timer here you can see this one is an on delay timer and from on delay timer it is connected to contactor and from contactor the wires are connected to changeover switch for automatic operation of this panel this one is an single pole circuit breaker we are using three single pole circuit breakers for protection of these indicators here you can see these are line indicators which means phase indicators of the transformer and we are connecting a phase to it and a neutral to it so here you can see we are using ryb phases from the transformer to indicator and a neutral to it we are connecting 11 31 and 51 from ct here and 70 on the other side and two outputs from this ammeter selector switch are connected here to ammeter and this one is an auxiliary supply you have to connect one phase and one neutral to it after that here you can see this one is an voltmeter selector switch connect three phases to voltmeter selector switch and two output wires from selector switch are connected to v1 v2 terminals and here you can see on the right side line and neutral terminals you have to connect one phase and neutral to it now coming to energy meter wiring here you can see there are three terminals a1 a2 a3 of the energy meter at n1 terminal you have s1 s2 so the ct which is of the line 1 the s1 s2 of these cts are connected to a1 s1 s2 similarly for a2 and a3 and on the bottom side you can see v1 v2 and vn terminal so the three phases and neutral are connected to it and also there is a line and neutral terminal to which auxiliary control supply of 44 to 277 volt AC is connected. This one is an energy meter wiring. This one is a three phase four wire Y connection. So you can take the screenshot of it and understand it. That's all in this video guys. Hope you have find this video very useful. Please like this video and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to comment your queries in the comment section. If you want to learn electrical up to infinite then hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.